What's going on everyone, my name's A.B. Frank, but just call me Alex in the comments, and welcome to The Bookish Report, where I talk mainly about Gaslamp Horror and Gaslamp Fantasy books, so that's stuff like Dracula, stuff that was set in or written in the Victorian era. This is a, an exception to that though, because this video I'll be reviewing uh, Driven by Dane Cobain, and um, this is a modern day book, in fact very modern, with a self-driving car. I do read a little bit outside the Gaslamp stuff as well, so... Um, let me give you the synopsis of this book and I'll get into the review, which may or may not be spoilers, I don't know yet, we'll just see see <laughs> through the course of the video whether it's got spoilers. Meet private detective James Lightfold, computer whiz kid. Here's the thing, let me uh, <laughs> stop just there. This, there's a character that I'm going to say now whose name is like the, the names in the fantasy genre where, where they're hard to pronounce and there's different variations of pronouncing the name and then the fan base don't really know which one's which, which one which one to go with. But Charles Heathcote spoke about this book recently and he called this main character Myla, which I thought, yep, that's better than my effort, so that's what we'll go with. It's spelled M-A-I-L-E. I don't know if, I've never seen that before, I don't know if it's normal or not, but <laughs> well done, Dane. In fact, names in this are, um, in fact, you'll see in a second, names in this are a bit, you know, uh, unique. Uh, so, meet private detective James Lightfold, computer whiz kid Miley O'Hara, and good-natured cop Jack Chalmondeley in the first book of the Lightfold series. A car strikes in the middle of the night and a young actress lies dead in the road. The police force thinks it's an accident, but Miley and Lightfold aren't so sure. Putting their differences aside and brought together by a shared love of crosswords and busting bad guys, Miley and Lightfold investigate, but not all is as it seems, as they soon find out to their peril. So Miley and Lightfold, I want to start talking about the character work because Miley and Lightfold have got this really cool like relationship. I thought Dane wrote the character relationships in this book really well, especially uh, Miley and uh, James Lightfold. And so it, so it says there that they have a, a shared love for crosswords. So Lightfold does the, the crossword in a newspaper in the mornings at his desk and he sits down one morning to do it, and it's already done, and he looks up at Miley, and she's over at her desk, grinning at him, and I, that scene just sort of stuck with me, I thought it was funny, and I can just imagine it, and um, so yeah, so this, this Miley then, she's like new, she turns up and sort of offers her services as being a good good with computers, which help with the case, and and he doesn't pay her at the beginning, he, he has her like on a, a you know, on a, on a uh, a free thing, whatever you call that, working for free for the, for the time being until she proved herself sort of thing. And what an angel she is to turn up and just work for, for nothing. I can just imagine her, she's like a bit of a goth, tattoos or piercings and like black wearing. And then, yeah, so, so I like that character. And then I'll tell you about other characters in this as well, even the minor characters, they were done really well. They didn't seem like they were just, just sort of throwaway. Uh, characters that they all even uh, even the minor ones seem to have a little bit about them like Dane took some time to, to make make these characters have something about them and, and the pacing in this book was really good as well so this sort of book um, you, you could t you tend to get sort of like here's something that's happened here's a clue so let's go and check out this person let's go and ask these per this person some questions then let's go to this place and check out that and then one, one thing to the next to the next to the next and it seems a little bit predictable a little bit formulaic and, and linear and while that is sort of how this book is written it didn't feel like that because of the the way the characters were done then there was a bit more to it there was a bit more about uh, about the writing in this than just like here's a thing here's a person here's a place here's a clue and and you know straight on to the next it did seem to to uh, to to, to stay with the characters a little bit more and and we got a little bit of, of who these people are these characters are which uh, is testament to Dane and, and his talent and skill as a writer he did that really well and um, I don't know why I've just started gesturing with the book in my hand <laughs> but yeah it's this is a really good entry and um, and this copy I should say I should have said at the start is um no longer available Dane sent me this and uh I've got it signed by him. Hey Alex, hope you enjoy. This is actually a first edition from the original print run before Encircle picked it up to republish it. You can't get these anywhere else. Cheers. And, uh, and it's signed. Uh, 
uh, which, which is cool, and so I'll definitely be keeping that. And, and it, yeah, it was done really well, and these characters also, there's backstory that, that was referenced, but not really explored. So I'd be interested to see in book two, which is called The Tower Hill Terror, which I've got there, I think I'm a TBR for next month. I'd be interested to see if that backstory is explored there and, and see where, where these go. This book is a, a, a standalone, like you, the, the mystery solved in this one, there'll be a new mystery in that one, but it, it, you see, it works by itself. You, I don't think it's strictly like, you know, read this and then that but you won't know who they are. You need a bit more context of like the, the character relationships as they got to know each other, which which we got in this. Um, but like I said, the mystery solved in that. And uh, Dane did a great job. And it deserved to be picked up because Dane's a hybrid author. He self-publishes some stuff. And this and the uh, the, the book two, the, the Tower Hill Terror, have been picked up by the publisher called N-Circle. E-N, Circle. Um... So, and he deserved that as well because he's done a really good job with it and it shows like self-publishing isn't you know the, the lower quality stuff there is uh, you know some talented writers out there and um, so indie authors all the way but anyway that's going to do it for this uh, this uh, review of driven by dane cobain uh, go and check it out i'll uh, link to uh, the book in in the basement below and to dane's channel and um, the, the link to the book isn't an affiliate link i've not set that up yet so you go and check it out i don't get anything for that but yeah, go and check Dane out and show him some love as well. And if you like this video, if you like some of the other books that I'll be reading and talking about on the channel, then consider subscribing. Don't trust anyone who doesn't sniff books, and I'll see you next time.